So you've been thinking about spending money on an embroidery machine, but you want to save money and go with a buy embroidery machine, which I believe is a great choice. But there are so many options. So what is the correct option for you? You have the buy vision and the buy mirror. Two very great machines, and both machines are great options for a beginner and a uh, business owner like myself. I own two mirror single heads, three vision single heads, and two vision two heads. So I'm a huge fan of Buy. Buy has given us an option or given us the ability to grow our business without going into debt and without having to um, rely without having to rely on credit cards or going into debt. So Buy has saved us a tremendous amount of money. Compared to most embroidery machines, Buy is extremely affordable, giving you the ability to scale your business one machine at a time as you see needed. We started with the five single heads first. Uh, our business does a lot of one-offs, so it made sense for us. And then um, we chose to go with the two heads uh, once we started taking on more large orders, and that gave us the ability to really knock out quantity. So let's get into the vision and the mirror and compare the two and see which one is the better option for you. So if you wanted the mirror delivered to your door right now, you're looking at $53.99, that's $5,400 rounded up, which for an industrial embroidery machine is an insane deal and definitely worth its money. If you wanted to upgrade, go with a more uh, more heavier duty model, that would be the Vision. Looks like they have two Visions of the model right now. They have the original Vision, which I have two of, and then they have the Vision version 22, which is the newest model, which I have one single head and two two heads of which I gotta tell you is the best version and I would definitely, definitely go with that option out of the two visions. So what I'm really gonna compare here is the mirror with the Vision version 22 since I'm not even sure they still have the older version or the, uh, the, the midline version. They might just be selling the 22 right now. So, uh, so the version 22 Vision is $7,299 to your door. You're looking at $7,300 and that's to your door. So you just gotta unload the crate, set it up and you're good to go. So right around a two grand uh, price difference for delivery, which could be a big difference for some people and um, for others, it might be worth the spending, or it might be worth spending the extra. Um, one of the biggest difference you'll notice is the size of the two machines. The mirror, uh, quite a bit smaller, quite a bit lighter. Um, if having manpower is an issue, getting it up on the stand might be an issue for you. The mirror is probably a better choice. Um, if you could uh, have a few people help you, some big, strong guys, maybe four, uh, go with the Vision. Go with the Vision for sure if it's on the size. It's heavier, it won't bounce around as much, and it's going to um, go through a little bit heavier material. But the mirror could do pretty much, for my business, the mirror could do everything. Everything I needed to do. So everything the Vision could do, the mirror could do in my business. So just keep that in mind. And then um, another thing you got to consider is the stitch speed. The mirror max stitch speed is 1,000 stitches per minute. The Vision max stitch speed is 1,200 stitches per minute. And you don't really run at that full speed the whole time. So you want to dial it back. I actually run mine right around 800, 850 on the mirror. And the Vision, about 950, 1,000. So, or even maybe a little bit slower depending. Depending if I'm doing a thick hat or depending what the material is. But uh, you'll always be able to run the Vision slightly quicker than you can run the mirror. So that's one advantage to the Vision. So if you have a lot of orders to get out, a lot of items, you're going to get more out with the Vision compared to the mirror. So keep that in mind as well when buying the two. Now if you're just a hobbyist and you're not doing that many or you're not getting that many orders a day to begin with, the mirror is a good option to start with because you're going to save two grand. You'll be able to start getting orders out and you'll be able to save for your next model, which I would recommend to be the Vision version 22. And as for maintenance on the two machines, you're looking pretty identical. You're gonna be oiling and cleaning pretty much on a regular basis, almost the exact same steps. Um, I will admit on my mirror, I've had one issue with it not being lubricated as good, but I was using the lube that came with the machine when I upgraded to my own lube I got from Walmart, uh, super cheap and it hasn't had an issue since. So I would recommend that actually. I'll put a pop-up of it around here somewhere so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so last thing to cover here, or last thing to cover really that is gonna be a determining factor on which machine to get, it's gonna be which machine stitches hats better. And like I said, both machines work great for my business. But if you're doing nothing but hats, I once again will recommend the Vision version 22. It's gonna do best with structured hats. 
and it's just overall going to be less of a headache. The mirror can do the structured hats. I guarantee you'll find people out there that can do the structured hats on the mirror. I can do the structured hats on the mirror. I choose not to. I have my Vision 22 set up with um, the hat hoop, and it's pretty much my go-to for hats. So uh, the rest I run flats on unless I have a big order of hats, then I start switching out my uh, other models. If you're running dad hats, um, foam hats, or just non-structured hats in general, you're gonna be okay with the mirror, and the mirror could do it all. So keep that in mind as well. If you're not gonna do uh, Richardson hats, you're not gonna do uh, New Era or Yupong or just any really thick structured hats, um, go with the mirror. If you're gonna do any of those hats, go with the Vision. And lastly, what I would suggest if money wasn't an option, I would obviously go with the Vision version 22. It's the overall best machine. Um, it's only a two grand more, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot when um, you're running it as a business. Uh, if it's a hobby, I can understand not wanting to spend the extra 2000 And if it's just a hobby, you can't go wrong with the mirrors. So that's another option for you as well. Um, I hope this was enough information for you to be better make a decision on which machine to buy. Um, our salesperson, I believe, so our buy rep was Louisa Chen. Find her in the buy group on Facebook. I pretty much, pretty much all of them, I believe. Uh, uh, Louisa and her sales team will be there so if you just ask a couple questions I'm sure one will reach out to you and help you to buy a machine um, also it's also not all coming from China these days they have warehouses here in the United States which I believe are in LA and Texas so a uh, pretty quick turnaround time um, the salesperson will be able to help you just reach out to one on Facebook and they'll definitely get it done for you um, if you have any more additional questions for me leave them down in the comments hopefully once again hopefully this video helped you out and will get you a uh, get you that next embroidery machine to save you a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I, I, I highly recommend going with the buy. We have nine heads and um, we run them every day for more than eight hours, sometimes 16 hours, 20 hours a day, and they've been running great. Just uh, maintain them, um, learn how to uh, adjust tension, um, go into those buy Facebook groups and really just become a student and just read, 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 and don't feel afraid to ask questions when you need help. You might even be able to find me there in the group as well. I'm there every now and then, so yeah. Definitely love to help you. Um, if you have any more additional questions, drop them down below. I do look to post more buy content video, so um, those questions will help me decide on what to post next. All right, thank you guys.